Hi guys, and welcome back to another one of my mocks. Today, I'm going to bring you this huge Imperial installation, the Force of Alderaan. And the idea behind me building this was that I wanted to have a mock to put my new Imperial TIE Fighters in. And therefore, I thought that a big landing platform would suit that need. I got inspired to build this uh, by, of course, the huge landing platforms that they have in uh, on Endor in Return of the Jedi. I thought I might give uh, something similar a go myself. And size was of the utmost importance when I built this. So I kind of used all the plates, almost, in my whole inventory for making this mock. And I want to fit as many ships as possible and also be able to have it carry my ISC Corvette on top of the platform, which it does do, and I have tried it, but I wouldn't leave my Corvette there for a longer time since it puts kind of a stress on the module. But to get it to be stable, I also had to use like three layers of plates uh, to get it to hold up the weight of just these TIE Fighters and all that. Okay, but we just get to an overlook and then into some cool details. You have the main area here, the platform, which I'll get into the details soon on. Got a field here, and then there's this pilot's barracks underneath the platform. Okay, so yeah, here on top, We've got uh, ladders here in the back. You can't quite see them now because of the TIE Fighters blocking the way. Uh, so you can get into the TIE Fighters from the back. We've got a TIE Fighter pilot about to climb into his fighter. And another pilot directing him uh, when he's getting ready. That. We've got some stormtroopers patrolling, an R2 unit. A scout trooper laying here, sniping. I also utilized uh, these kind of like yellowish green lights for the bottom of the corners of the platform and red ones on top. Red ones for aircraft to spot the platform when they're flying, and yellow ones to provide lighting for the troops below the platform. It's kind of a fighter and support platform therefore it's got some uh, cargo crates over here with some patrol troopers watching over it got a small like refueling station here i have this kind of pattern with black with the light gray uh, fading into black and then the light gray in the middle here is the hatch to get on top of the platform from below so you just open it like that, you fall down the ladder and then you got this kind of tower here that you got to climb up to get on top of the platform. I really couldn't figure out a good configuration to make an elevator so it did work but that's like probably the my least favorite part of the mock is how you get up to the platform but at least the hatch is pretty nice with all those tiles there. Okay, for me to be able to show you the whole base of the mock, I think we are going to make some quick rearrangements with moving these ships out of the way real quickly for you guys. Let me just put down the TIE Fighters and see if we can just See, the platform is removable, so you just grab it like this, and then you can lift it up to remove it. We'll just put it down here on the floor. Good stuff. Then we'll get into the details below. So, I mainly used brown pieces for the floor, uh, for the ground beneath the platform. 
since the shade of the platform will not let sunlight to get in there so grass doesn't grow too well but we got like some plants still being able to survive down here move into view a bit okay so there are stormtroopers keeping the area secure having patrols around the base also got like brown crates and all that I think the concept turned out really nice with having these great grey pillars just rising up from the ground so you can do quite a lot with it and it's cool details to have the troopers walking around that and here's the front of the pilot's building the aircraft control center with a huge window here I mean it's the Air Force so they don't have to be that tactical about their buildings but still got an imperial design and some some plants growing on top of the roof if we move uh, along to this corner of the mock you kind of get into the fields outside just got kind of like a puddle of water here and a lot of plants with red flowers. We've got two stormtroopers here by the relay station here for communications. The big dish that does spin around, of course. Yeah, and he's just watching the controls from this little platform. We've got a little yellow light here as well. If they had to get out here in the dark. Then we got this kind of like little uh, little uh, pond, the tiny little stream running down from the base. We've got of course uh, the oldest type of stormtrooper here. He's having a swim, and then I got the ATST from the Endor bunker set, which I think is a really like compact and good ATST to have in mocks. Uh, let's get into the side details here. You can see I used some snot technique for the building and some tiles there. So it's kind of stripy, which does work out. And then we'll just follow the stream along here uh, from the pond and the stream over here. And along the little pond, we got these pink flowers instead growing close to the water this planet we got some of these plants as well in the water and we have a scout trooper going for some uh, fishing so he's like the end part of his fishing rod and all that and his hook Here's the controls for the duel, which is guided by a stormtrooper. We've got a lamp as well, another crate. Then here's just plants, and this is kind of like the half ladder I had to build to get on top of the platform. Then there are just some more stormtroopers patrolling on the outskirts there. Okay, let's have a look inside of the building then. Can lift off the roof like that, and then the door does open and close, of course. Okay, so in here we've got kind of a little meeting room for all the pilots and officers. So we've got the main officer here sitting, standing, giving some orders to the pilots. I mean, it's a bit more luxurious than your standard imperial barracks, so. Yeah, the pilots are sitting here, some without helmets, having a drink, snack. Got some flowers in the corner there, the ones growing by the water, so it's probably local. We just got a gun rack that does fit eight guns. Got one of the droids from the new TIE Fighter set, and another pilot just walking around with his mug. Okay. And he's kind of like the hologram screen with a Imperial gunner and a pilot as well having a look at so they can uh, yeah watch the space 
and disguise around the base for intelligence. So, a bit like that. That is like the main details. The whole thing. Just turn around and see if we can. Sorry for showing you my kitchen chairs. We'll just put the platform back on top. It's a bit wobbly now, but just for a final closing picture. Ah, I hope you did like this mock. And if you did, do leave a like, comment and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.